20 years ago, after 25 years of brutal occupation by Indonesia, the people of Timor-Leste chose independence and self-determination for their proud nation. When the task of nation building began, they literally had to begin from scratch. Over those years of occupation, a quarter to a third of the population of around a million people died either from starvation or were murdered at the hands of a military that brutally suppressed any resistance. Massacres such as that which took place at Santa Cruz Cemetery in 1991 were commonplace, if largely unknown outside the country. When Timor-Leste finally gained independence, the Indonesian withdrawal was marked by such savage and destructive violence that it left this impoverished nation in ruin. The Indonesian military's scorched earth policy literally burnt the country to the ground. As peacekeepers came to restore order, they found virtually every building in the capital, Dili, destroyed. Travelling through the country, village after village, a charred ruin. But the greatest destruction from a long-term perspective was to the education system. Not only were school buildings destroyed, but as the majority of teachers were either Indonesian or Indonesian sympathisers, they had left the country with the Indonesian withdrawal. The generational task of rebuilding an education system, which included teacher training, for a nation with over 50% of the population under the age of 18 had begun. Australia has a moral obligation to assist the people of Timor-Leste. During World War II, the Timorese protected Australian soldiers pursuing a forward defence strategy against the threat of Japanese invasion. Many were murdered, their homes and villages destroyed by the Japanese as a consequence of their loyalty to these Australian soldiers. In 1975, six Australian journalists, including the Balabo Five, were murdered at the hands of the invading Indonesian military as they pursued their professional responsibilities of covering the conflict. This invasion and occupation was sanctioned by the Australian and US governments. For years, the Australian government knew of the atrocities taking place in Timor-Leste through their intelligence services, but did nothing to oppose the brutality. And since the 1950s, when exploration began, Australia has accessed oil and gas that legally belong to the people of Timor-Leste by perpetuating the myth of the Timor Gap sea boundary during Indonesian occupation. To maintain access to these natural resources after independence, Australia entered into unequal negotiations with the Timorese, which included the illegal spying of the Timorese government officers to gain an unfair advantage over our poorest neighbour. The shared history of our two nations cries out for justice and a generous response from Australians in our position of relative wealth and privilege. Since the mid-2000s, as part of a much wider grassroots support network in Australia, Assumption College Kilmore, in conjunction with Australian Mara Solidarity, has sponsored education projects in the district of Bacow. It is a proud connection that has fostered and strengthened the beautiful relationships and friendships that exists between Australians and the people of Timor-Leste. No one that has visited Timor-Leste from Australia comes home unchanged. Everyone comments on the friendship, the welcome and the hospitality they receive. It has been a successful and long-term rebuilding program, not only of the nation, but of trust and human relationships as well. Currently, Assumption College Kilmore is committed to raising $25,000 Australian to help rebuild the primary school in the village of Kalakai. It is the most recent project in a long line of educational projects that our community has supported. 
The manner and attitude of this support is all important. The people of Timor-Leste are an immensely proud people who have resisted and eventually defeated the fourth largest and strongest military power in the world. We must respect them and their story. Therefore, our support must never be one of arrogance, pity or paternalism. Rather, as Lila Watson, an Aboriginal elder, activist and educator said, if you have come to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you have come because your liberation is bound up with mine, then let us work together. Unfortunately, due to the coronavirus pandemic this year, the college's traditional fundraising activities have not been able to take place. But the desperate need for educational facilities in Timor-Leste remains, as does Assumption College Kilmore's commitment to its annual sponsorship of this project in Calakai. During this time of pandemic, we appreciate that many in our community are doing it tough and so are unable to contribute to any fundraising, and this is fair enough. But perhaps, ironically, the coronavirus and generous government support packages initiated in response to COVID-19 have left you in a better financial position than before. If this is your situation, and you can help work with the people of Timor-Leste to help them rebuild their education system and their schools, we and they would treasure and value your support. It would only take 25 people donating $1,000 or 50 people able to give $500 for the college to meet its annual commitment to supporting the gift of education in Timor-Leste. Donations can be made directly to the college or anonymously through our specially set up GoFundMe page. Thank you for your support and your generosity towards the people of Timor-Leste who are our neighbours and our friends. Yeah, they